सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यत वंदे गुरुपरंपरा I welcome you all with my love and respects. This is a beautiful moment. The auspicious Lingodbava time, the time in which. Mahadeva Shiva appeared in front of Vishnu and Brahma gave darshan to both of them and removed their ego blessed both of them and gave them the ultimate truth this is the same moment same time darda chama this is the same time vishnu and brahma experienced mahadeva in the formless form the cosmic consciousness as a light beam the pure consciousness we need to understand the story little deeply brahma is the representation of intellect saraswati's husband vishnu is the representation of mani lakshmi's husband through this story brahma and vishnu is not able to find mahadeva shiva an important truth is revealed mani and intellect cannot find enlightenment but many time the money and intellect starts fighting between them 
who is great from time immemorial intellectuals and politicians were fighting from time immemorial people with wealth and people with intellect are constantly fighting that fight is only represented through the story that fight is only presented through the story the brahma and vishnu started fighting who is big guy who is a great guy whether intellect or money the problem is both of them don't understand an important fact both of them can't lead you to the ultimate truth or the ultimate happiness if you know the story of brahma and vishnu seeking the shivas feet and the head you will understand what i am saying it's a beautiful story with a tremendous metaphysical meaning in it the great intelligence we need to understand this story little deeply only then the true meaning of the story will be revealed to our being the true meaning of the story will be understood the story says brahma and vishnu were fighting with each other trying to find who is big guy then suddenly shiva appeared shiva said any one of you try to find my feet or head whoever finds my feet or head will be declared as the greatest person and brahma tries to find the head vishnu tries to find the feet unfortunately not only they were not able to find they realized nobody can find vishnu the moment he realized he surrendered and shiva blessed him just because vishnu surrendered shiva blessed him with enlightenment and the truth brahma even though he was not able to find does not want to surrender doesn't want to agree that he can't find so he tries to find some false witness a flower which was in the shiva's head he tried to bring that flower as a witness the flower was falling from shiva's head for ages and brahma tried to catch that flower and made that flower as a duplicate witness false witness but shiva knows the truth and he curses not only brahma the flower too and finally brahma realizes the truth and surrenders then the moment brahma surrendered shiva reveals the truth to him also very beautiful story the deep significance as i was telling brahma represents intellect vishnu represents money both of them constantly fight who is a big guy intellect and money when they are fighting suddenly the truth stands in front of them the life continuously the intellect and money is fighting 
our ordinary life is nothing but the fight between intellect and money suddenly truth stands in front of us and tells the money and intellect try to find my head or feet neither money nor intellect can find the beginning or end of life beginning or end of life cannot be controlled by intellect or money not only it cannot be controlled it can't be altered changed when you can't do anything with your beginning and end then you can't do anything in between also life is life but neither the intellect nor the money is ready to surrender intellect tries to find the head brahma goes in the form of swan to find the head vishnu goes in the form of pig to find the feet both of them are trying their best vishnu goes 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 for ages he is digging finally he realizes the truth he won't be successful at one point he just want to mark the spot to which extent he traveled he ties a bell still in all shiva's murtis shiva's idols you will see a bell near the calf near the calf muscle you will see a bell that is tied by vishnu vishnu was able to travel only to that distance whether in nataraja or dakshina murti in all shiva murtis you will see that bell Vishnu tried he understood he realized he can't he can't see he can't achieve he can't get the truth one important thing truth is revealed in this when you run behind the money to achieve the eternal happiness nityananda at one point you will realize the money can't give you that that is what is meant by this line by this story vishnu realizes he can't achieve he can't find he surrenders if you travel if you try to find through money you will realize at one point it can't be achieved you will surrender the moment vishnu surrendered shiva revealed the truth and gave him the ultimate experience but brahma intellect cannot surrender that is the biggest problem if you travel in the path of intellect and try to find the truth not only you won't find the big difficulty will be you will not be even having that humbleness to accept that you will not find or you have not found you will not have that humbleness you will not be able to surrender you will not be able to relax you will not be able to say that you have not found not only you won't be able to say you, you have not found you will try to bring all false witnesses brahma not only he was not able to find he can't un- accept that he did not find so he brings false witness the flower which was near the head of Vish- shiva and which was falling for ages he actually caught the flower and asked the brahma asked that flower you are from where the flower says i am from the hair of mahadeva shiva brahmas how long you are traveling the flower said for 
before Brahma's age I am traveling. Still I have not reached even Mahadeva's face. Brahma understands. He has only one age, means one kalpa. This flower is traveling for four kalpas. He understands. He can't find, but he can't surrender. He catches that flower and says, Why don't you come back and tell Shiva that I saw his head and I brought you from his head. Flower says, I don't have a problem. After all, I am going down. I can do a small favor for you. Understand, if you try to do something wrong, even for doing good to others, you are in trouble. Even for doing good to others, if you try to do anything adharmic, anything which is not right, you are in trouble. This flower thought, after all, Brahma is asking me a, a small favor. Why can't I do? He said, okay. And Brahma comes down and says, I found your head and this is the witness. Shiva knows where he kept the flower. <laughs> that is the biggest problem. Again and again this intellect thinks it can hide from enlightened being. It can do whatever it wants and it can escape. It can get away with it. Understand, enlightened being is a person who played with his intellect. So you can't play with him, with your intellect. But we always miss the game, thinking that we can play with him, with our intellect. He played with his intellect itself. And how can he be caught by your intellect? No. You are playing with intellect. He played with the intellect itself. Brahma tried to play with his intellect to Mahadeva. Mahadeva straight away knows the truth. And he just says, he says only one thing. Because you tried to play with your intellect, let you not be worshipped in the planet Earth. You are not worthy of worship. And he says to that flower, just because you told a lie, you have been a false witness, you will not be used anymore for my worship. And the moment both of them realize their mistake, the flower and the Brahma, both fell at the feet of Shiva and cried, please forgive us, surrendered. The moment they surrendered, Shiva forgives both of them and releases them from the curse. Shiva says, as an exemption, you will always be worshipped in my temple in the north side, in all Shiva temple, northern side, where the Tirtha, the holy water comes out, you will see Brahma's Murti standing there and continuously purifying himself by the Charanamrita, the holy water from Mahadeva's feet. In the same way, the flower was also blessed. Mahadeva says, you will not be used for worship, but as an exemption, one day on Shivaratri day, you will be used for my worship. This is the very day Mahadeva expressed himself, appeared in front of Vishnu and Brahma and gave them enlightenment, the ultimate truth. This is the very day every year the same intense cosmic consciousness, intense Shiva energy falls on planet earth envelops the planet Earth, raises the whole collective consciousness of the planet Earth to a different frequency. You are all blessed to spend this beautiful time 
in the energy field in the presence of an enlightened being do not waste your energy just running behind intellect or comfort intellect and comfort both of them are utility in the life it is needed for a certain level but that is not life itself life is far beyond the currency and logic life is something to be intensely lived loved experienced beyond logic and currency vishnu represents the mamakara identity you carry within you and believe as you brahma represents the ahankara the identity which you project to the outer world neither ahankara nor mamakara can realize the truth can give you the truth only the cosmic energy you are very being which is beyond ahankara and mamakara only that can show the truth to your very being shiva is cosmic consciousness the embodiment of existential energy takes you beyond ahankar and mamakar because neither ahankara nor mamakara can reach can understand can realize mahadeva take this moment take this opportunity to go beyond ahankara and mamakara and unclutch yourself from these two and experience mahadeva shiva intensely pray to that energy please understand praying is trying to tune yourself to that energy don't think prayer is just empty words prayer is nothing but expressing the truth through intense sangalpa if you express it just with your sangalpa it's meditation if you express it with your sangalpa and the divine help it is prayer intensely create a deep prayerful mood prayerful feeling and recite mahadeva's name the maha mantra panjakshara with your whole being and pray to him let him reveal himself to you let him reveal the truth to you let him give you the ultimate experience which is beyond intellect and money which is beyond ahankar and mamakar the truth which is revealed to vishnu and brahma let it be revealed to you mahadeva appeared as the cosmic fire cosmic consciousness the same moment exactly this very moment to bless to enlighten vishnu shri Jesus